What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here and today we are going through the Blade Binge website. I'm so excited to do this. If you don't know, right, maybe you're new, uh, maybe you're just sick of using Reddit and Facebook and all of these other places that really aren't the best as far as buying, selling and trading uh, on the secondary market. Um, if, uh, if you're any of these people, um, Blade Binge is the place to go. We have tons of people in this community using the Blade Binge website. It is way, way safer. It's a way more reliable um, place to do this kind of thing. It is super easy to list your own stuff. Uh, the Blade Binge website has so many benefits over um, what we have all been stuck with for multiple decades. And I, it just it's such a, a frustrating mess of secondary market crap that we've all had to deal with. Blade Binge has solved essentially every issue um, that's associated with that. This website is also a fantastic place to find amazing hidden gems, um, which is why I uh, enjoy going through it and sharing it with you guys. I'm going to link the Blade Binge website. I highly, highly recommend that you make an account, take a look at it, uh, because it, it just makes this entire thing so much easier. And you might find something you never knew uh, was available for a reasonable price. So anyways, all the links for this website will be down in the description. Highly recommendable. Let's go through the marketplace. I think we're just going to start here and see what's listed. And then I'm going to share it with you guys. This is going to be a regular thing, by the way, because the last time I did this, I, I found some absolutely amazing stuff. 69 pages. <laughs> Oh my gosh, the, the community over here is exploding. And if you're a part of the Blade Binge community, make yourself known in the comments section and share your opinion of it. Uh, I want other people to, to understand, like not just getting it from me, but I want people to get um, information from people who actually use the website, um, you know, like or listing and buying and selling and trading there. Um, because it's, it's, you know, it really helps to kind of convey the, the message here, which is that Blade Binge good, right? I have this exact same mat, the Hinder mat. I, I literally have that mat. Uh, Gail Bradley won there in excellent condition. That's cool. Definitely a rare knife. Moving on here. Keith Kruger K1. That's a beautiful wowzers. If you ever handled a handmade South African knife, you owe it to yourself to try one. That's a great way to list this. Yeah, because um, it's absolutely... <laughs> It's absolutely true. Uh, that's really cool. And for $445, actually a great price tag. The Aurora Knife and Tool Truffles. That's a hard one to get a hold of for sure. Uh, Wingman EDC. That's cool. It's been a long time since I've taken a look at that. Um, the gun stock scales on the MSI. I literally own almost exactly the same knife. And it's a good way to get everything already on there. For I mean, it's, he's essentially shaving off the price of the scales. Let's take a look at that one, actually. Um, yeah, so I have these exact scales and it, th this is a highly recommendable knife. In fact, mine currently, where is that? It's right here. Mine has the titanium scales from original goat, but these aluminum scales, especially the gun stock, which is, um, in my opinion, that's the best uh, one that they do, but you could pick that knife up, uh, with the scales for the same price as the G10 one brand new, which is pretty cool. Kaiser Mini Militot DLC. That's kind of neat. It's a good price on that guy. Woo! B what? There's a Rockstead. Rockstead just sitting there for 600 bones, which is a much more fair price. That's the smaller one, but uh, yeah, 600 bucks for the Rockstead. See, here's the, here's the thing about the Blade Binge website. This listed on Facebook, I'd be like, <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I don't trust the seller. I don't trust it. Like... I've been burned on Facebook. I feel like everybody in here has been burned on Facebook, right? Um, and uh, this listing on Facebook, I wouldn't trust. But this makes it impossible. The Blade Binge website and the way they have this set up, it makes it impossible for you to get scammed. You you cannot get, you can't get scammed, right? Um, that's that's why I like this website. Is that The listings are clear. You get information uh, and you either get the knife or you get refunded the way that I understand it. So that's really, really cool. I'm going to keep going here. Oh, they got some, some watches in there. Omega watch for 260 bucks. Kumu uh, X Tau with carbon fiber handle, anodized axis lock, says blah, blah, blah. Looks like it's been modified, maybe. Maybe? Cut some boxes, paper testing. L Max Kumu does amazing. Need, need the money, so I got to let her go. Fair enough. 140 bucks, right? Extreme ratio. I've never even. Uh, the, the extreme ratio knives are always really funny to me. Um, this is basically like 
shopping for knives at the prices that everybody feels like they should be. <laughs> I mean, listen, I got lots of affiliate links for brand new knives. And if you if you're somebody who just has to have a brand new knife, sure. But if you don't mind buying a knife that's been slightly used, this might be the way to go. The the Tucson TS429 looks very similar to some Kunwu knives. I'm just scrolling straight down here um, to see what else is listed. Uh, the Benchmade Bug Out and S90V for 250. Okay, I have this exact knife. Oh no, I have the larger one, right? The Benchmade Freak for 220. Like new in box. I'm going to tell you guys right now, uh, that is one of the best Benchmade knives ever made. Uh, arguably the very best Benchmade knife that has ever been made. Um, but uh, the $220 for that is an absolutely fair asking price, and I would highly recommend it. Um, that is a really, really cool listing. I really wish that Benchmade would... Do they still offer this knife? I haven't. I just haven't seen it in forever, right? Let's keep going here. Uh, the, this is such a weird knife. Uh, Pyrotech Kraken Fully Knife Gray Titanium Handle S90V Sheep's Foot Blade Plain Black DLC. $420 original. I Oh, it's the crystallization. Okay, hold on. Let's take a look. Yeah, that's the crystal tie. It's hard to get a, a good detailed zoomed up image there, but maybe they've got some other images. Do we have any that are... You got a close-up image? Look at that. 61.2 on the S90V. Crystal titanium is going to cost a little bit more. I think we're going to start seeing it more. Maybe the the price of, uh, you know, the, the cost of doing it will eventually come down. But as of right now, it's definitely an expensive thing. Looking for rare guys here. Tucson, I'm sure doing a lot of really weird stuff that, that uh, I'm just not aware of. The Wii Cybernetic there, you know, the black version for 250 bucks is really, really cool. That's a beautiful uh, absolutely beautiful knife. Orient Mako XL 44.5 for five. Ooh, daddy like that might be a, that might be. So I, I gotta, I gotta just the lister of this, put the thing at the top so that we can see, cause I want to see the bezel alignment, right? I want to see the marker alignment. I want to see the bezel alignment. So the way that the bezel is is kind of like slightly irritating, but that's a really uh, that's a really really cool watch for five hundred ninety five bucks. Uh, that's something personally I may return to. <clears throat> Anyways, let's move on here. Kershaw leak. We got an Invicta Pro Diver. No thank you. No thank you on the Invictus, but that's fine. It's there for some people. Quartermaster, I forgot about Quartermaster. This is such a fun, it, like, it really feels like a Rolodex of, like, I literally have no idea what's it. We have an Invicta watch, a Quartermaster blade, uh, a Lotar Combat, an SPK Lamia Nature Grip Gen 4, another Invicta. We have a Nightcore flashlight. Like, there's so, it is, you have no idea what it is that you're going to run into here. It's, it's, it's completely random, but it's really cool. And there's nothing shady about it. Do we have, oh, these are Rose Cra Okay. For a second, I thought those, that was a TC Barlow, uh, like from the great Eastern cutlery, uh, listed for 105 bucks. I was like, well, that person, uh, has no idea what they're listing, but that's, I'm sorry. That was a totally different knife. Tactile Knife Co. Archer for, ooh, 530. Ouch. Do they, they must not be making those anymore, right? In some case, I'm the, I mean, like, I don't want to get it, give anybody the impression that everything that's listed on this website is going to be less than, you know, what they went for um, brand new. Because as we all know, and if you didn't know, I'm going to share with you a bit of information to just understand moving forward. Some knives do go up in value. It's just true, right? Some knives, the demand goes way up after supply is gone. And they will sell for more. This can be very frustrating for new people sometimes. But you've got to understand and accept it. This is the way that it's always been. Certain knives will be rare. Certain knives will be in high demand after they're gone. And there is no way, no matter how much you beg and plead or uh, kick and scream and cry with the person who's listing it, there is no way to get it for less than, you know, what it went for uh, brand new. In fact, in, in a lot of cases, you're just going to pay substantially more. So sometimes, depending on what it is, I don't know that the archer is the knife that I would pay more for, right? Uh, but uh, sometimes that's going to be the case. Evo 3.0, that's really cool, but the one that everybody wants is the, um, you know, the DLC, like the shiny DLC one. 
Concept Loki is a really, really good knife. Uh, this is the one that I said was a uh, sleeper. And does this one have the weird opening hole? Yeah. So I don't like the one with the weird opening hole as much. Um, but this is definitely a, like, the ergonomic lines on this are really, really good. Heretic Medusa Manual. It's an okay price tag, I guess. How much do they go for normally? I guess I don't know. Praxis in Damascus. Steel Wheel. What's this? Leatherman Squirt. That's kind of cool. Uh, let's see here. Keep going. Some kitchen knives. Brian Brown, Vanax Jaeger. The Jaeger is a really cool knife. ZT0350. That's fun. Tuya Wraith. Benchmade Barrage. That was my first nice knife was the Benchmade Barrage. That was my first, like, good, um, like, I mean, my first, like, really nice knife, I guess. Sheepdog Titanium. There's the Vostied Psyop, which is also a really good knife that has the new, like, kind of compression style lock in it. Top liner lock or whatever. Vision FG with aluminum scales. It's really cool, but, like, there is it. Hold on a second. That's too much money for this. It's really cool, and I feel bad. Like, this stupid metal complex guy is going through and telling me my listing's crap. It's really cool, but, you know, at the end of the day, it's still just a Vision FG, right? So not enough in, on there to justify that price tag. But, okay, you know, maybe somebody will see that, right? And ironically pick it up. Wowzers! That is a, that's a rare one right there. Holy crap, I haven't seen that forever. No way this has the freaking insert. No way! No! Okay, listen. This is a, this is a stupidly rare knife. Um, the ZT0560 in itself is rare, but let me tell you guys, the number of them that were actually made with lock bar inserts is so small. This is back when ZT was making contoured textured titanium frame. This is so, it just, they don't make stuff like this anymore. That's wild. So this is essentially the ZT Hinder XM24. That's what this is. It is the 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 056 uh, the 0560 was designed by Hinderer, right? The 0562 was designed by Hinderer. That was meant to be the XM18 three and a half inch, back in like the peak of hype for this model. The 0560 was an XM24, but a little more wieldy. Instead of being nine and a quarter inches, it was like 8.75 or something like that, and it just made a lot more sense. The flipper tab was better. The blade geometry is still like ridiculous on this. Uh, it's not quite as like the 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 spine isn't quite as thick. This looks like he's he's this is not the factory edge anymore. Um, but uh, yeah, this is a really really cool knife. Captive pivot. It's like an XM24 with a Torx pivot, right? G10 front scale. This is the black wash version. I can't remember. You know, like I, I feel like maybe all the black wash versions had the lock bar inserts, and a select number of the non black wash versions uh, had the lock bar insert, but most of these 0560s don't have the insert, which is cool. That one legitimately is rare. Uh, if, if you know, the knife's not beat up, it's got no blade play, right? There's no, like, severe, like, blemishes or anything, then the good condition is probably, you know, an accurate listing there. I don't think that's a bad price for that knife. I think whoever ends up with that would be really happy. That's really cool. This is such an underrated knife. Now, the listing for it is crazy, but this is... Uh, the, uh, the Vicar from Benchmade, super weird, super weird knife, but such an underrated knife. Anybody who owned this, like I picked this up when it was brand new, this thing has like this champagne gold liner and I believe it's a titanium liner. Yeah. This, it looks like satin, but it's like a champagne gold and it's, this is an awesome knife. The, um, uh, the scales are like a cheese grater. Um, but, uh, I love that. That's, that's one of my favorite Benchmade knives and it is essentially a knife that no one ever talks about, but I, I just feel like it's a, it's kind of a gem in the Benchmade lineup. Very expensive, um, but super cool. Brand new in box. So there you go. Titanium integral slider knife, custom knife uh, made in Japan. It's kind of interesting. Customized PM2. Okay. Drop Bear, what's that? Cold Steel Warcraft Tanto. I bet that's a lot of fun. Cold Steel Natchez Bowie for 125. That's also really cool. 
Uh, eight millimeter thick. I wonder what the, oh, 4034. That's why the price is so low. Kaiser Veritas tie. Uh, definitely one of the best Kaiser um, knives that's ever been made uh, with a like new in box. Like if it's actually like essentially unused, uh, that's a 150 bucks is a ridiculous buy. Uh, like that's such a good knife. There's so many pages here that I haven't, I, I am tempted to sit here and go through like <laughs> we're already 15 minutes in. I just I want to find the I want to find the weird stuff, the button lock barber is that the big one or the small one? I'm actually interested. Blade length is three to three and a half. Well, which is it? <laughs> I want to know. I want the big one. Uh, let's keep going here. Kumu Padre, drift, quiet carry drift. We got the TRM Holy Nerd. Grimsmo Rask for nine seventy five. dollars Ouch. Uh, Lion Steel Thrill. Keep going here. T Terra Mundi Ray. Interesting. Protean. Custom Knife Prince Fuller. Limited USA Folder. I'd actually like to see it. I've never heard of this. It's a good looking knife. Yeah. I don't know anything about that maker there, but looks fine. Spartan Harzi Viking, full size, new in box, be a good price for that. Ooh, Demco AD20, it is rare. This is the type of thing, people, what? Why you gotta be so expensive? Why go what? This'll sell, it'll sell. Probably while, while you're screaming about it, but yeah. Uh, full, rare, orange, sheep's foot, titanium knife, that's wrong. This is G10, it's not a titanium knife. Um, so I don't know who listed that, but it's just it's probably just an error. 20 CV. So this is the uh, this is the big one. So and then the blade length is just I mean technically there is a variation of it, but these are, these are the big ones that are made in the United States. It is not the um, 20.5. You can see right here. This is the the heavy fella, the big boy. It's one of the newer ones too, which is indicative. Or I'm sorry, I'll, I'll get back to it and I'll tell you exactly how I know that. It's because of the body screws. These are the newer screws. The older ones are button head. Um, that's like mine. Um, but yeah, 700 bucks is a lot of money for that knife. You will pay $450 if you're lucky enough to snag one in the 30 second window when they actually drop on retail sites. So this is about $45 more than the full titanium version of this knife goes for. Um, and it's also, in my opinion, in the least desirable uh, color. It is like new in box, you know, but I mean like stuff like that. If you're just sick and tired of waiting and you got an extra, you know, $695 burning a hole in your pocket, there's one sitting right there, right? But uh, if I was going to buy a, Br a Grimsmo Norseman, I would want this texture pattern. I just wouldn't want that. Because um, you guys always ask me like, how come you don't have a Norseman in your collection? It's because the knife is so weird looking that I need exactly the, the right version of that knife in order to justify bang, paying for it. Vero Lux, it's a cool knife. Ooh, is that, that's the one that's made by Riot. Yeah. Whoa, look at that blade. Hold on. Is that a laser? Nope, that's Bacon Damascus. Wow, that is awesome. Yeah, that's why that's 800 bucks. That is super freaking cool. And it's got the Damascus on it. That is awesome. What a good looking knife. Wow, 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 wow. These must be templates. Uh, Blade Binge. That, they must be templates that are um, popped in there by Blade Binge. When, um, probably when... The people listing these don't list the stuff themselves. Is that a Riot Jack 1? Holy crap. Wow. I haven't seen that forever. It's an integral. So cool. Guys, if you have an integral, take a shot of the integral. This is one of the weird ones in brass. Um, but yeah, 1100 bucks. Um, I mean, that's what they're gonna, that's what they're gonna go for. Um, that is wild. I have not seen that knife. I used to own this exact knife, but instead of brass, I had the carbon fiber and I don't know why I sold it. I remember buying it on the secondary market for, I think 650 bucks. 
Definitely should have kept that one. Now I have the new Riot Jacks that are worth a lot more. I got both of them, but the original is very cool. I have not seen that knife in a long, long time. Oh my God, I love doing this. To the owner, to the owners of this website, you know, they've been, they asked me like, would you consider making this like a regular returning thing? And um, I said, yeah, absolutely. Because this type of stuff, we just don't get to see. I don't get to see this type of stuff. A lot of this is a return to the past kind of thing for me. Um, and for some people, the secondary market is the only place that they will look for knives. Number one, because you can find cool older things that are gone uh, from the, the retail market. And number two, because oftentimes you can just save a lot of money on stuff, right? Praetorian T and Magnica, it's kind of a cool pattern there. It's kind of neat. Custom. Hard case signed by Greg Medford. All right. For some people, that's worth extra. Uh, Giant Mouse Ace REO Tie. I do like the soft diamond texturing on this. That's nice to look. Yeah, that's lovely. That's real lovely. Is that a Riot one? Ooh, the Persian for 300 something? That's kind of cool. Are these integral? I always forget. Are they? Let's look. Might be. I can't remember. Um, if they are, though, that's a great price. Mid-Tech Slim. Is that a Mid-Tech? Hold on. Yeah, it's made in China by Wee Knives. It's not a Mid-Tech. Um, that's not what that is. Hey, there's literally the exact... So this is the... I call this the perfect folding knife. It's the ideal one and done. 160 bucks is exactly what it'll cost you to buy the knife and buy the scales. So <laughs> probably not, probably didn't need to be lower there, but it, that that is a, a perfect. And I've got it right here. Literally the exact same scales, the exact same knife. It is worth putting this knife together. 2.8 ounces. Best weight to strength to usability ratio on the market. Arcane Designs Pratheon. Okay, I was trying to guess that before I looked at the... Uh, Look to the price there. Is that like a custom Paragon? Yeah. Oh, hold on. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen a Paragon dressed up like that. That's cool. Neutron 2. Ooh, Microtech Stitch Aluminum. Is this the factory version? Yeah. So I have that knife right here, except mine's in black. Um, yes. Even with the subpar heat treat, which is a bummer, and I really hope that Microtech fixes that. This is um, this knife puts a bigger smile on my face carrying it day to day than uh, pretty much anything else. Two hundred sixty is not a bad price for that. Like new in box. An O nine nine. Okay, for a second there, I thought that was a totally different. Uh, Zermino Custom Knives Tier. That's a really cool looking knife. Uh, S-Tau 2 for 360. Why? Why? Because they're gone? Maybe. Uh, TW Price Rain. It's a great knife. $576. A little steep, but okay. Depends. On, I mean, all takes... Here's the thing. If you list a knife for, for uh, way over what they originally went for, let's say you have an audience of 500 people. And 499 people ridicule you, throw things at you, figuratively. They cry, they scream, they kick, right? They laugh at you. And then one person buys it, the person who listed it, listed it correctly. That's how that works. One person buys it, that's it. Game over. They were correct. So uh, it's just one of those things where the listing price not, might not be but what you want. And the only answer there is move on. Um, because if you know it, 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 it's the it ends up being the seller's decision if they want to lower the price tag. But if someone buys it, well, then there you go, All right? Uh, I'm just looking for like one more really spectacular thing. That's an actual Emerson Custom. That's kind of cool. HD seven. I know we can find one more wacky thing. Tuya Alamo. That's a really awesome. Integral. It's just kind of awkward. Why do you have a Geddon listed for $550? Surely these are not out of stock. Are they out of stock? So I'm just going to let you guys know, like, this is a $350 knife. Maybe they're gone. It is really cool, but 
Wow, that's a lot of money. Hinderer Eclipse, Triway Warncliffe. That's a rare Hinderer. We don't see Eclipse Warnies, and certainly not with Horsehead Titanium Scales. This is very similar, if not identical, to... Well, no, because the, the Stonewashed one never came out in Warncliffe. But remember the 0392 Warncliffs? The only way to get an 039... Or, I'm sorry, a, a Hinderer Eclipse with a Warncliffe blade for a long time was to get the old ZT Factory Custom version, which was purple. I think it was the purple one. Bug Out Smoky Mountain M4 Exclusive. AWT Special Run Scales. Okay, so they got custom scales on there. Shiro of Quantum Ursus for five twenty five is a wonderful price tag for that. Wonderful. If you want to try out a Shiro Goroff, the Quantum Ursus is the least expensive and mo most impressive. Like the do you know, as far as like every dollar going into how impressive it is, dollar for dollar, that's probably the one. And this guy's got it even less than what they cost brand new, which is like six hundred six hundred and fifty bucks. Five twenty five. Yes, yes, excellent listing there. Full size Urban EDC Chavez two two nine. Oh, but that's the little one. Dang it! One more rare bird. Come on now. Come on. We gotta find it. We can find something rare. By my definition, right? There's plenty. I'm sure, like plenty of people are like, you skipped over something that's like crazy rare. Woo! There's a Severn. No, no, that's not Severn. Is it? Oh yeah. There's a Severn sitting there. Oh, wow. That's cool. But uh, Blue Laser Wave Severn and Magna Cut. I don't know if that's a factory or not. Blue Laser Wave. Is it titanium? It's aluminum. It's aluminum and Magna Cut. That's probably why it's still sitting there. But it's really cool that there's actually a Severn listed somewhere. What are we at? God, we're at 27 minutes. Time's getting away from me, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm getting into this. Uh, Alliance Design Easy E 2.0 right there for 330 bucks is a great. That's that's an integral, and those are zirconium inlays. Um, absolutely. Oh, it's converted. It, that's why it's still sitting there. It's been converted. So instead of the Tanto, actually, that blade shape is better. Pretty cool. Yeah, that's a great EDC knife. Kaiser Aggressor? I've never heard of that. We're going to go one more page. We're 12 pages in here. Um, anything else? Anything else that I can grab onto? Microtech Numbered Sandstorm. Don't even know what that is. I wonder... Real quick, real quick. Because, like, these pages are... I'm, in, I'm just in, like, Marketplace. Um, but I want to see their grail section real quick. Um, we saw these, I think about right here. Oh, there's a Benchmade skirmish. Oh my God. No freaking way. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's crazy. Oh man. It makes my eyes water. I haven't seen one of those forever. Wild, horribly ugly thing, but such a cool knife. You can tell you can tell how how far back we are here by the factory mounting position. They're like, <laughs> Benchmade's like, what the hell is uh, is tip up carry? Tip down's the way to go. Holy crap, that's crazy. There's a few different versions of the skirmish. It's probably not a bad price tag, on honestly. Skike Rogue. Tactile Archer, Microtech Whale Shark. Oh boy, we got I must have gone. I must have blown right past that because I've seen a lot of these. Yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Found a new rabbit hole. Yep, hold on. Strider. De these. This is about what they'll go for. Uh, Denim Overkill. Dang, two thousand dollars. But that's what they go for. Fatty Warncliffe? Dude. I have not seen a fatty for so long. What does that mean? 
It means it's a three and a half inch. It's an XM18 three and a half inch. And it's an S45 VN2. It's, oh my God, that's cool. Um, but it's got the XM24 blade stock thickness, which by the way, uh, Lister, you got to show that, man. You need to turn it sideways. Uh, that is so cool. That must be um, the newest uh, fatty that they've done. I wish that they would do fatty spantos again. That is so cool. Yeah, that's that's. I'm tempted to buy that brand new. I'm 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 legitimately tempted to buy that. If it wasn't working finish, I think I would. <laughs> oh, whoa! They got a Giga Chad. I didn't even know that this was a thing. I didn't. How did this guy get a Giga Chad before me, dude? <laughs> he has it listed at. Oh, my stupid picture's in the way. 825 bucks? Yeah, dude, that's sick. That's mirror-polished DLC ZDP-189 with a full Timascus frame. I'm so mad. Sergio, you... I don't have this knife yet. Why does he... Why does this guy have it for sale? Dude, that's ridiculous, man. <laughs> oh, there's a DLC MSI. I don't even know they did those. Oz Rosie, Shamp, full size Arius for full, for seven twenty five. There's a whole bunch of stuff here. Batch one Severn, brand new in box. Some of these must be listed by, what is this? Oh, yeah, I remember that. That's a cool knife. Ugh. Ugh. God, every time I see this, man. I'll tell you what. I would own this if it wasn't for that stupid blackwash backside. If they had done this in full Zerkatai, I'd pay two grand for it. Not worth that, but that's what I'd pay. God dang it, there's so much freaking cool stuff here. Gosh dang it. I'm uh, this is 32 minutes long. Oh my god. Pray T with the dragon scale. All right. Davla superconductor. That's so cool. Okay. All right, we got to stop. We got to stop. This is dangerous. I'm going to I'm going to end up spending money here. Okay. Please check out Blade Binge. This is clear. This is an amazing website. It's it was built by people who care. It's built by people who are knife people. It's built by people who have been burned on the secondary market, so they understand what to do and what not to do when creating a, a system like this. The community here is great, and it encourages um, appropriate listing. It uh, encourages um, proper buy sell trade etiquette. This is the type of community you want to be a part of for the secondary market. This is better than anything that we have had. The best leading up to this was nothing compared to what they've created here on Blade Binge. So do yourself a favor, become a part of the Blade Binge community, and uh, you'll find something that you uh, that you want. You, I mean, you're, you're pretty much guaranteed to find something you want. So anyways, uh, that's going to be it today, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Blade Binge, thank you for existing. Links for Blade Binge in the description. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.